Hello, my Tarot Advisor community. Laura Brown here. I am super excited to be part of a new series that we are launching, discussing, and providing you with some tips for going through this holiday season with a sense of healing and happiness and um, as little stress as possible, which can be very difficult. This time of year, it, it seems to be just a flurry of obligations that we hardly stop to really truly embrace the essence of this holiday and this season and for many of us it can also be a trigger some of us have lost those that we care about there's family members who perhaps are not going to be with us this year there's relationships that perhaps have ended and so we're, we're redefining our own traditions so there's a lot of emotional triggers that can arise making the art of sacred self-care all the more important so this week we're going to talk a little bit about embracing what feels good. And I know for many of us, this can be very difficult because we're not really connected to what we want to do, but rather we are fully engaged and even a bit over engaged in what we feel we must do. So in whether it is, um, you know, a holiday party that is the fifth in, in a line of invitations that you've received, or maybe it's just simply having no time to yourself to truly take a moment and say, what do I need? It's now more than ever very important for us to pause, to say, okay, what do I need to actually do? How can I get through that? And how can I carve out even 10 to 20 minutes for myself? How can I learn to say to the, you know, to the latest invitation, you know what, I just I can't make it this time because it doesn't feel authentically right for you. If it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't make you feel good doing it, maybe it's not right for you. Now, we all have things we must do. We all have bills we have to pay, work that needs doing, laundry that has to get done. But ultimately, we must learn, especially during the holiday season, to just carve out a little bit of time to say, okay, what does my spirit need right now? What would feel good and nourishing and healthy for me right now? It could be just 10 minutes of kind of engrossing yourself in this beautiful book that you just got. It could be a hot bath with candles and some oil, essential oils. Maybe it's a workout so you can have those endorphins kicking and helping with your mood elevation and also allowing you to get out excess energy to release any stress that you may be feeling, any tension that might be there. So the idea this season is to make sure each and every day you're carving out a little bit of time and that you're asking yourself, what would I like right now? What would feel good to me right now? That you're willing to, act, to ask yourself that when things arise, such as invitations, such as, you know, functions for work, functions for family, whatever it may be, ask yourself, does this really feel good to me? Is this going to make me happy? Or do I just feel so tired and drained that I don't think I'm really into it? And then honor that. The more that you can embrace what feels good and learn that it's okay to have that boundary, you will be able to go through this holiday season from a much more authentic place, from a place of genuine interest, a place where you feel good and thus you're able to show up for whomever you're showing up for in a, in a very positive way, in a very uplifting way than if you were there rather begrudgingly or only half interested, half invested. So that's tip number one, embrace what feels good. And I will be back next week with your next tip. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and a very, very happy holiday season. Ah.